In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a chromatic aberration effect on your footage right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have some footage ready to go, we first want to begin by going into effects and presets and we're going to search for channel. And that should load up channel mixer in the color correction drop down menu. We're going to drop the channel mixer onto our footage. Now at this point, we want to have two more copies of our footage. So we'll select the footage. We'll hold command C and command V twice. That's if you're on Mac, if you're on Windows, that is control C, control V, or alternatively, you can just right click and copy and paste that way. But from here, you want to go ahead and select the top video. We'll go to red, red. Then we'll go down to green, green, turn this to zero. Then we'll go down to blue, blue, and turn this to zero as well. So the top layer is red. We'll move down to the second video. Red can go down to zero. We'll keep green at 100 and blue is zero. Move down to the bottom. You've guessed it. Blue, blue will be 100 and then everything else will be zero. So essentially what we've done here is we've separated these three videos into different color channels. So we've got red, green, and blue. Right. So from here, we want to go into the blending mode tab. Of course, though, at the moment, we can't see the blending mode tab. We need to reveal that. So we'll go down to toggle switches slash modes, and that will reveal this mode menu here. So the top video needs to be changed from normal to screen. And the second video also needs to be changed from normal to screen. The last video can stay as normal. Now from here, essentially the chromatic aberration effect is just as simple as moving one of these clips. So we'll select the top clip, we'll select position and we'll move the position over to the right. And as you can see, we're getting this chromatic aberration effect appearing. You can really see that when we zoom in on the footage. Of course, though, it's not just the position that's going to affect this. It's not just the position that will give us this effect. If we go into scale and we increase the scale, you'll see this chromatic aberration effect happening. And if you really zoom in, you really increase the scale, then you're going to get this really harsh effect happening. And of course, though, it's not just the top channel that you can affect. You can go down into the bottom channel. We'll move the position of this over to the right or the left. And as you can see, we're getting a different look up here. And we'll move down to the bottom channels. So this will also give you a completely different look. And there you go. It really is that simple. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.